There's the try to Matt Todd. What is happening here? Defense optional. Thompson, Taylor, Tulolo, and Todd. Oh, and that's straight off the training paddock, isn't it? Beautifully done. That's the stuff that makes coaches very, very happy. And he's passed off to this man here, who nine times out of ten gets on the back of a maul and scores a try. Well, he's done it an, e an easier way and run it over. Poor initial setup for what this guy has had set up. Oh, and around the front we'll goes Shingo, I think. And he's in. Well, Nathanton scored so many tries from this sort of position. And wearing 20, the replacement, Oakley, Hartley! Brilliant finishing again by the powerful Saint Skipper. in attack and if they can get that they've got plenty of tools out wide that can finish yep. and, take it by Rollins, and this is Hughes and he's got Johnson to one side Robson to the other gain line broken try line broken first try of the evening to Wasps at the front of the line up Rob Shaw goes up so he's lost it's Danny Kerr effectively a two on one until Robson minutes. arrives Danny Kerr misses Hughes Probably concerned slightly about Ashley Johnson, but... Well, this is a vital area where they've had a bit of a problem, but it's Campbell who secures that time. And da -da, look at this. Jed Robinson just thunders through a well-worked gap by the Rebels. On the training field numerous times, they have the, the conviction and the courage to call it just through the small little gap he managed to go through no one even laid a hand on him just a little ankle tap from Petroyas taken up front then the ball gets laid off and everyone expects the drive to happen here on Safi and it's the little offload there fantastic pre time to go for the line out as we close in on half time and they do right lock. Here's Woodcock. We've seen it before in the World Cup final. They've saved it up and they've scored it at the Millennium. Find out again. The All Blacks opted to take the kick. Look at that gaping huge hole. There was a decoy runner in Aaron Smith that, that sucked them in. You can see there he's gone around the back, Aaron Smith. A few of them chased him. Woodcock went through the middle, basically untouched. You can't. To the back, Charlie Matthews. Oh, through for Danny Kerr. What a lovely move that is. Kerr onto Buchanan. It's a brilliant move. Ashton out of position to be able to do anything. Kerr feeds it on to Buchanan. Throw goes long. The set play works. Wonders, and it is Willie Larue. Out of backline play. Have a look at him fold around the back. You see him around the back. Takes that long, and that's beautiful ball to Larue. And I've got to say, some pretty smart feet gave. <laughs> Job is line out time. They've gone short. Straight over the top. They go to one. Shocking off. As pretty as a perfectly round poach there, Gareth Evans.
wasn't fired in that left touch line. Well, what a position now for Scott. No, oh. straight through the middle. What a move. Hamish Watson with a try. Oh. Well, it, it kind of took us all by surprise. You probably heard the gasp here. It's brilliant when something like this comes off in international rugby or in world rugby in general because so often we see the norm. That time it's inventive and clear through the face, brilliantly executed, well thought out for the week. Danny Wilson, the forwards coach, Gregor Townsend, all the coaching staff at Scotland will be proud of that. It's great to see something new, something innovative, and it gets rewarded a try. Well done, Hamish Watson and Stuart McAnally. Bath had the last word. At a five-metre line-out, they worked the simplest of short throws, and flanker Garvey scored with just a few minutes left on the clock. Final score at Adams Park. Scoring opportunities. A well rehearsed short line out orchestrated by Shulk Brits opened the gap, with Jack Berger following up to claim the crucial bonus point score. Leinster missing zero tackles, also missing 12, and Luke Ragnar is clean through. Defence and uh... I think Kieran Treadwell just gets confused there with Van der Merva and leaves a big massive gap. It's great execution from Leinster. It's a move that's called Jack McGrath, little wrap around and uh, Luke McGrath straight through. Great pace, great anticipation. The All Blacks have called for a short line out here, leaving Murray Pierce and Mike Brewer with Gary Witten standing in at halfback. It's on the 10 metre line of French territory. Oh, lovely jump by uh, Witten, but he left the ball behind. 